Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. Many of you asked me if we can do a cache of the LLM calls. And the short answer is, yes, we can do a cache for LLM calls. So in this video, I will show you how you can do the cache, whatever you wanna call it, is cache or catch or cache or something. So first I will show you how you can do the in-memory in cache and the SQL light catch, GPT catch, optional catching and as well as the optional catch in the chains. And then we will go through the conclusion what we went through in this video. Before today's topic, I just want to give you an update. I created a video about Falcon large language model and there they said that they are going to use 10% royalty if a company makes more than $1 million a year right but now they they just dropped that and now it's completely open source meaning that it is apache 2o license and you can use it commercially without paying any royalty i just want to give this update instead of creating a whole video you know that okay now you can use the most powerful model until today which is you can see in the leaderboard hugging face it's still on the top the first is 40 billion instruct model and the next one is the 40 billion if you want to know more what is this please watch my previous video now let's go through today's topic okay so i am just covering some of those in this in this video for more detailed information please refer to the official langchain documentation the link is provided in the notebook now let's first go and set up the environment as usual you need to install some some of the packages and then you need to provide the open ai api key if you don't have please go to this particular website and grab one of the api key and pass in this particular shell and then what we are doing here is we import the langchain and from langchain we are importing the open ai and in this video as this is a kind of caching video i'm not going to use a powerful language model i'm just going to use the text da vinci 002 okay the first one let's go with the in memory cache and i will also show you because why we need caching because one is to do the fast faster api calls and the next one is when we do the faster api calls and we put something on the cache we might even reduce the cost right i will show you how you can track the uses of the token also here is the link for more information please refer to that but let me open this here i am just importing normal things right in memory cache and there is the gate open ai callback which we can use to track the token uses right and then here i am using the cache like right? langchain dot llm cache equals to in memory cache right this is how you can you can specify the in memory cache and here i am providing this with gate open ai callback at cv and i am just asking tell me a joke for the large language model and i am printing cv and the result as you can see here when we use this gate open ai callback we get the token used the prompt tokens is four and the completion tokens is 35 successful request is one and the total cost is 0 0.0078 dollar so this is what it costs for us when we run this particular prompt right and here is the answer why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side this is the normal joke that it provides for us this is what we run for the first time and as you can notice here it took 1.44 second for us to achieve this result right and when we do the same thing now as you can see here the second time it is used it goes faster and there is no cost just to demonstrate that i just ask the same question tell me a joke right so that is already in the cache now when you run it again you can see the total tokens use is zero prompt tokens is zero because we didn't make any api calls to the open ai api right and then here there is no cost associated with it uh, and the answer is why did the chicken cross the road to go to the other side because that is the what it is in the cache right and you can see here it took just 1.29 millisecond here it took 1.44 second and here is 1.29 millisecond so you get the idea why we do the cache one the faster response time second there is no cost associated with it and i just want to test one more 
thing here and I asked the question capital of Nepal and this is a different question which is not in the cache right so when I run this as you can see here now there is the tokens used there is prompt tokens and successful request one and the uh, total cost is 0 0.003 and the answer is Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal and it took 1.17 second meaning that it took almost similar to what we did for the first call it is 1.44 second this is how you can pass questions to the large language model do the cache and also display the total cost and the token used for that particular call using the gate open ai callback i hope this is clear okay just to demonstrate you that there are many ways we can do the cache based on your use case we can even do the sql light cache so for this it's the same like first we need to import the sql light cache and then we need to provide the database path that is dot langchain.db this is just a random name you can provide here and when i first ask the question it took 1.54 second and to and the question is tell me a joke and it says two guys stole a calendar they got six months each okay fine right that is what it provides and the second time i, I asked the same question it gave like okay two guys stole a calendar they got six months each that is the same answer because that was in the cache but the good part here is the response time right here it took 1.54 second and here it took 1.15 millisecond so you get the idea why i'm showing you a different different cache also and the next one here is the gpt cache we can use the gpt cache for exact match caching or to catch results based on the semantic similarity if you want to know more about gpt cache i have provided the link here i'm not going through detailed information because this is different topic than what we want to achieve but i'm just taking this example from langchain documentation here we are just importing the necessary things there is two functions one it get hashed name and the next one is init get gpt cache and here we are doing the map part and there is the map cache right when i ask the question tell me a joke it says okay why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side no normal joke again and this is the normal question i asked in 1.59 second and then the second time i asked it the answer is the same because the question is the same and that is in the cache and it took only 357 so you get the idea when we put something in the cache the response time is faster and if i have printed the api call cost also it would be zero the second time there is an example let's see how, how we can do the same thing with the similarity caching right this is all the things again from the langchain documentation the main thing here is the similar uh, cache right so what we want to achieve here right and here i am i'm asking is tell me a joke and it downloaded something tokenizer and all the different things and here i ask the question and the answer is two guys stole a calendar they got six months each i think this is what the large language model provides different times right it took 24.5 seconds because it also downloaded something from the internet here right and the next time i ask the same question it took 597 milliseconds and the answer is the same and here i ask okay this is not an exact match but semantically within distance what is the difference here here is tell me a joke right and what i asked is tell me joke there is no a there right it took 224 milliseconds but there is some kind of similar between the two prompts right and the answer is why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side you get the idea although the answer is different it took less time as you can see here it just took two to four milliseconds compared to five nine seven milliseconds and it provided the different answer okay so now let's go with the optional caching what does it mean you can also turn off caching for the specific llms if needed in this example below even though global caching is enabled we will turn it off for a specific llm as you can see here here is the llm open ai and text davinci 002 and here the cache is set to false right and here i am asking tell me a joke and it took 2.91 seconds and then now i ask again tell me a joke why did the 
uh, chicken cross the road because the cash is being off here although the question is the same the answer provided is different and you can see the time taken is almost similar 2.97 2.91 second because the cash is now being off meaning that it needs to make the api call both of the time so it take more time right and now let's go with the optional caching in chains because this is just one large language model but we we can have multiple chains in lang chain when we go with the optional uh, caching in the chains we can also turn off caching for particular nodes in the chain right but as an example we will load a summarizer map reduce chain i hope you know that because i have created a video earlier about summarizing pdf kind of things we will cache results for the map step and then not freeze it for the combine step so you can see there is two steps map reduce we will do one part we will do the caching next part we will not do the caching so here there is llm that is open ai and here is cache right and here no cache llm we are turning off the cache here i hope you get that and now here from langchain text splitter import character text splitter and then we have this map reduce chain and we need to give the text splitter character text splitter by the way i need to somehow change this there is one good article here you can go through this about the chunking strategies this is really good article i hope you will learn something from here when i provided this chunking text splitter and then i downloaded the state of the union paper from langchain github and as you can see here i'm loading this here and the text splitter this is normal things we already did in our previous video and now we have text there is 119 different text and from that we just take three of those uh, text here docs is length equals to three so here chain is load summarize chain and we pass the llm chain type is map reduce and we also passed another llm which has no cache right no cache llm what happens now is here i am also providing you the cost associated with it so you get better understanding what is going behind the scene here so here i just use the gate open ai callback as cb again and i am just taking it into a different variable chain dot run docs and here are all the different things that i printed and then there is also the response here the print and the response right so here you can see total tokens is 745 prompt tokens is 533 and completion tokens and the cost is 0 0.019 dollar right and the president gave me a speech about something something and then it took 5.57 seconds to do this summarization what it does is it took these three of the as you can see here we have docs is three of this text based on that three chunks it did the summarization and provide the summarization for us so that is what's happening here and next when we run it again we see it runs substantially faster but the final answer is different right that is due to caching at the map step but not at the reduce step so you will see here by the way i'm just using pprint because here as you can see here it is not formatted properly i want it to format properly right so the same thing is happening here i haven't changed anything but as you can see here now if you compare this 745 and uh, 0 0.0149 right and if you can see here it the the tokens are also smaller because there is caching happening there in the map part and the cost is also 0 0.00458 right and it provided the answer for us and it took just 0 0.2.06 second when it took 5.57 second as you can see here the response is different because here it is saying something although it looks something similar in the beginning the president gave a speech to congress highlighting the fact that americans all the things but let's look at the last here it says the president noted the strength and determination of ukrainian president and here they will put in try to take over ukraine but he underestimated all the different things right so you see that it is different a summarization being provided but it took less time and less cost so that is how you can cast one part and 
not cast the next part i hope you get the idea here okay what summary can we make out of this right the caching llm queries can reduce expenses and the number of api calls as i said before and leading to the cost saving also right storing llm responses in a cache can significantly reduce response retrieval time right and the caching is particularly relevant when dealing with high traffic levels where api call expenses can be substantial we just went through that right and the traditional cache systems typically utilize an exact match between a new query and a cast query to determine if the requested content is available in the cache before fetching the data but this approach is less effective for llm caches due to the complexity and variability of the large language models i hope you agree with that and there are other llm cost optimization techniques also like prompt engineering because everything what is happening in large language model is the prompt if you have better prompt you have the better result right you can do some kind of prompt engineering techniques and caching with vector stores also and chains for long documents summarization for efficient chat history and fine tuning there are different things that you can utilize for the large language model cost op optimization techniques right and the choosing the right caching mechanism because i just showed you five different kind of caching mechanism but the one you want to choose is the one that fits your use cases it's not that you need to use this or that it all depends upon your use case i hope you will utilize this caching mechanism when creating your application let me know in the comment section how did you implement it or did you face any issue when implementing this caching thank you for watching and See you in the next video.